Hey, what's up once again everybody? This is another updated video review of my Sony Bravia LX900 HD 3D television. And today I'm going to be talking about the free games that come with this TV that you can download from the PlayStation Network and how to get the 3D activated to make it work on this television. I've read a lot of people are having trouble trying to get the 3D to work and I'm going to teach you how today. So let me go ahead and cut off the lights and show you guys. By the way, how do you guys like my new TV stand before I go on? I had to buy this new larger TV stand because this TV was too large for my other one and I think it looks pretty nice. What do you guys think? Alright, anyways, let's go ahead and talk about how to get the 3D working on the video games you downloaded from the PlayStation Network. First off, Sony should have included this in the instructions, but they didn't. But anyways, I'm going to teach you guys how. First, you need to go to Settings. Scroll down to Display Settings right here. Click on Display Settings go to video output settings choose HDMI and by the way you have to have a high speed HDMI cable the older cables will not work for 3D scroll over choose automatic the screen will go black for a second then come back on it tells your current resolution mine's 1080 pixels go ahead and click yes now it's gonna ask you what size is your 3D television mine's 46 so I'm gonna scroll down to 46 alright so choose however many inches your screen size is that's what you should put for maximum 3D gaming support then scroll over alright all my settings are correct hit enter I'm gonna go ahead and finish alright now 3D settings are set, I can go over to the 3D video game. So I'm going to scroll over here. And here is Star Strike HD in 3D. I'm going to click it. Let it load up really fast. This might take a few minutes. Alright, it's loading. Give it some time. The PlayStation 3 is kind of slow. I'm sorry. And mine's in Japanese. I'm sorry for that also. Alright, so the game loads up. Star Strike HD. I'm going to go ahead and press the start button. And now when you press the start button, now you can select 3D Game Start. If you do not do what I showed you before, this will not work for your television. This will work also on the Samsung and the Panasonic 3D TV. You must do what I showed you at the beginning of the video or 3D games will not work. So you can go ahead and choose 3D Game Start. Alright, now it is in 3D as you can see right here. It says it's in 3D. And you put on your active shutter glasses and you can go ahead and play this game in 3D. But I'm not going to right now. I'm going to go ahead and exit out real fast and show you guys another game real fast here so let me exit out so while that's taking its sweet time I'll go ahead and tell you guys that there are four games in 3D uh, you have Wipeout HD which is 3D which is a kick-ass game it looks really cool in 3D here it is right here Star Strike is the game I just showed you guys. It's pretty cool in 3D. I mean, it really pops out and has some good depth to it. Mr. Payne, uh, there's a few 3D levels, but not a lot, and it's not that great. It looks okay. And then MotorStorm 3D Demo looks amazing. It's just one level, and you can only drive a buggy, but that level looks really cool in 3D. And that's pretty much it for 3D games right now, unless you buy the Avatar video game, which I heard is pretty cool, which I want to get pretty soon. And that wraps up my review for these 3D games and teaching you guys how to play them. Uh, stay tuned for more reviews of the Sony Bravia LX900. And uh, I don't know if you guys can see it, but take a look what I got. Uh, you guys can't read it. It's Ice Age 3 in 3D Blu-ray. So I will be giving a review on that as soon as Sony updates the PlayStation to support Blu-ray 3Ds or I buy a 3D Blu-ray player, whichever happens first. I'm kind of impatient, so we'll see. Anyways, take care guys. Later.